We've heard many opinions, both for and against, in this vital area of dowsing for good and bad places to live and work. If life and death decisions are also to be based on the results of dowsing, surely we should try to establish once and for all whether it works reliably. Please welcome my final guest, Clive Thompson. Well, us, Clive, what do you do? Well, at the moment I'm doing quite a lot of water divining, and I'm also helping out the Paris Mountain Mining Company in looking for the mineral ore band which goes around the mountain. Well, tonight, Clive, you've agreed to attempt to find a piece of zinc ore, like this one right over here, uh, which is concealed under one of the seven boxes that you see behind us. Is that correct? Yes, that's quite correct. All right, and you're happy to do it this way, are you? Uh, I'm happy to do it this way. It's not normal. We work normally in the open, you know, on the mountainsides mm -hmm. or wherever, looking for ore, but realizing you're doing a studio one, I'm willing to have a go and see if it works. First, please show us the effect of your dowsing rod on this sample of zinc ore, and we'll just conceal the sample with a box, so the conditions are exactly the same as when you come to do the test. Right, oh, James. Now, to explain how the, what, the rod works, when you're facing the ore, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm trying to... We put a white-ended tip there. It has a slight sideways move when you're there. Take it off, and it dies. See, it die, comes in, and it dies again. So, to amplify that, I give it an, a voluntary upward movement. So, aim it at the oar, and what do you get? You get a large oval form, which is easy to distinguish. If I take it to the side, see it die? I close my eyes, bring it in, I can feel it moving, dead. Well, that seems to be a very dramatic demonstration. Now, will you please try to locate the ore sample taken from the same piece of zinc ore which is hidden in one of the boxes behind us. Of course, if chance alone were operating here, you'd have a one in seven chance of finding the sample at your first attempt. Using guesswork alone, we'd expect you to locate the zinc ore sample by your third or fourth attempt. Good luck, Clive. Thank you very much, James. Right, I'll take number one first. <clears throat> in the upward movement. There's no there. No. back to that. again just to see. Well James, we'll bank on seven, see if it's there. On number seven. All right, let's take a look and see. Now, even I don't know underneath which box the zinc ore is, and I see that it's not here. Well, Clive, would you like to have a second try at it? Let's try number four again. Number four. No. Well, it was wrong, so let's try another attempt, shall we? <laughs>
club. We'll try two. We'll try number two. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Here we are at box number two, the third guess, and ah, there we are. There's the piece of zinc. Zinc ore, pardon me. Well, oh. Clive, uh, would you join me here for a minute? Yes, certainly. We said that by chance you'd find it on your third or fourth attempt. You found it on the third attempt, so your results sadly seem to be no better than chance. But we'd like to thank you very much for coming tonight.